Hi everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic examination of the eye and visual acuity examination of the eye and visual acuity optic nerve function is tested by examining the various modalities of vision that is visual acuity visual fields and color vision the optic nerve is one cranial nerve that can be visualized directly and no neurologic examination is complete without an ophthalmoscopic inspection of the optic disc and the retina. Examination of the eye. Look for local ocular abnormalities such as foreign bodies and photophobia. Look for the presence of a unilateral arcus senilis with ipsilateral carotid artery disease. Case of pressure ring. It indicates that the person is suffering from Wilson's disease. Case of pressure ring. In Wilson's disease, a yellowish orange brown discoloration, 1 to 3 millimeters wide, ring may be found around the rim of the cornea. It is due to copper deposition in the decimens membrane, best seen with a slit lamp. Cataracts may be present in myotonic dystrophy. Lish nodules are pigmented iris hematomas that are highly suggestive of neurofibromatosis 1. In carotid cavernous fistula, there would be proptosis, chemosis and tortuous corkscrew blood vessels in the conjunctiva. In thyroid eye disease, there could be proptosis. Jaundice may suggest Wilson's disease. Xanthelasma it indicates hypercholesterolemia. Corneal clouding could be seen in mucopolysaccharidosis. Tortuous conjunctival vessels may be seen in ataxia, telangiectasia. Lens dislocation is seen in Marfan syndrome and homocystinuria. Blue sclera is seen in osteogenesis imperfecta. One of the commonly asked NCQ questions for PG entrance exam is blue sclera is seen in the answer is osteogenesis imperfecta. Raccoon's eye. In persons with head injury and basal skull fractures, there could be bilateral periorbital ecchymosis. So, raccoon's eye indicates a head injury causing basal skull fractures and periorbital ecchymosis. Yeah. Now, visual acuity. But what is visual acuity? Visual acuity is a measure of the eye's ability to resolve details. When testing acuity and color vision, it is important to occlude the eye not being tested. Visual acuity charts such as Snellen's chart for distance and near card for near consist of letters, numbers or figures that get progressively smaller and can be read at distances from 10 to 200 feet by normal individuals. In infants and children, acuity can be estimated by blink to threat or bright light, following movements and pupillary reactions. For distance vision, a Snellen's chart is placed 20 feet from the patient. At that distance, there is relaxation of accommodation and the light rays are nearly parallel. The eyes are tested separately. By conventional notation, the distance from the test charge, 20 feet or 6 meters is the numerator and the distance at which the smallest type read by the patient should be seen by a person with normal acuity is denominated. Example, an acuity of 20 by 40 means the individual must move into 20 feet to read letters a normal person can read at 40 feet. So, vision worse than the measurable 20 by 800 is described as counting fingers or hand motion or light perception 
or if it is very bad no light perception improvement of vision by looking through a pinhole suggests impairment related to a refractive error so how do we differentiate whether the visual acuity loss is because of a refractive error or because of a neurologic disorder we make a pinhole and ask the person to look through the pinhole improvement of vision by looking through a pinhole suggests impairment related to a refractive error the pinhole permits only central light rays to enter the eye if the visual impairment is due to a neurologic process such as optic neuritis vision will not improve with a pinhole neurologic process that affect the optic nerve or chiasm may cause impaired acuity but when it comes to the retrochiasmal lesions they affect visual acuity only if they are bilateral so very important pre chiasmatic lesions visual acuity can get affected but retrochiasmatic lesions visual acuity will get affected only if they are bilateral amblyopia refers to impaired vision because of an organic process in the absence of a demonstrable lesion whereas as whereas amaurosis means blindness without primary eye disease or loss of vision secondary to disease of the optic nerve or brain so these are all the important concepts in examination of the eye and visual acuity i hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture as much as i have enjoyed delivering it if you have any suggestions or comments you can post on to my youtube channel or my email all the important concepts of neurology i put it in a question answer format in the book focus neurology which is available online from all leading booksellers including amazon if you are interested you can buy it but please like comment and share my youtube channel dr sinwas medical concepts and my fb page dr sinwas concepts thank you bye